the java java system installation in the part of the java system or portal system installation it created the so two instances here so message server and queue server and also here java related files are got created here all right so same two instances one is the scs instance second one is the application server instance application server instance here application server means the same above how we got the two instances same but java also two instances are got created here so message server application server here we have the java process here so from above above process table above them right here also we have the java process table here for java related we have java process table is available here right you can see it here java process tables here above process table so now what now what will happen what will happen so so now 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 we need to start the java system here so java systems it's not like that above system here java systems is not like so above system here so so here it will something like it will behave the some process here like means it won't start immediately here it won't start so here it won't start immediately it will take some time here here while starting the java java startup their control framework is used to start and stop the java instances here java instances here so now let's talk about the java java startup procedure here how the how the java will start and everything here so you see here when i'm starting the java just right click and you start the java systems here right you see here what will happen here right so here when you're starting the java anyhow first the message server nq server will start okay that is started then when you are starting the java first what will happen here so here j start here you see j start program here j start program j start program is implemented in the java it will it will start the java components and java applications and everything here so here then here we have the icm then server zero process everything is available here right server framework server starting framework here so here we don't have any work process here here we have in the as part of the java architecture we have only two process one is the icm and then second one is the server zero node in the server zero node it has the phases here again server zero node it is the first waiting to start then starting framework so java the java procedure here when you are starting the java here so waiting to start here waiting to start waiting to start then starting framework framework then starting applications here starting applications here so then then it comes to the running status here that time it will come to the running status here right so here here the java startup framework is implemented in the j start program here in the j start program so see here starting framework then starting applications here then come to the running status here so here you can see here j start j start is implemented j start will do the j start will do the all kind of work here so normally j start program has two major responsibilities here one is the when the when running the java controller j start program java controller j start program will help to start stop the for java process and so j start program will bind to the your local ports here it will bind to the your local icm binds here right so it bind to the your local points communicate and it will send the signal to your server process to start it here right so which means here j start program is helping j start process helping to start the java server nodes here why because it will open the p4 ports the p4 there is a port p4 port so then 
so it will help to start the java instance here then another responsibility of the jstart program is so it will connect to the java controller and load in load it will load the all the ports bootstraps binaries all those things it will it will load it here that is what it will happen if you go a little bit deeply you will get confused so don't go for in deeply you will get confused you are in the starting of the java so then there are a lot of things to a lot of things will happen in the when you are starting the java system here a lot of things will happen when you are starting the java system here right first what will happen it will boost up the all the binaries in standard properties files and everything here why because java always there is a procedure i will tell you while starting so but you see normal starting procedure only right click then stop it and start it it will stop the java system but it won't start immediately it may take time now see it's come to the running status here now see java got running here java system got running status here so now immediately now we cannot connect through sap logon pad java systems we cannot connect through sap logon pads here java systems we have to use the java systems we have to use the so browser browser based logons we have to log in through browser level we have to use it we cannot connect through sap logon pad why because only above systems we can connect it so for java systems so we have to use this one here we can see only server process are available here right so the url which we have to open is here so here this is the url you need to open but when you open the uber sap windows one five instance host name and port number host name and port number you have to use it here so host name and port number you have to use for the to log into the java systems here right host name and port number so then this is a java home page here here just if you click on the here tabs are there just if you click on the system information then you will get the so clear information but here you first time when you are log into the java system it won't allow you to log in it won't allow you to log into the java systems why because there is a one parameter there is a one parameter which we need to set here go to the usr sap sid then see same file system structure here same above how we have the file system structure for java also we have the file system structure above we will get the d instance number right for java we will get the j instance number then sys profile right here in the instance profile in the instance profile here so there is a icm parameter here no sorry in the default profile there is a icm same parameters concept here also here right so this parameter we need to disable this one here this one we need to disable disable means if you type the hash so that it won't read it here okay i disabled then you need to do the restart of the your java system same way do the restarts right same command you can use the restarts and also you have the same file system structure here okay the file system structure wise we have the same structure usr sap sid same jvi then then we have the j instance number here we have the data folder exe then work directory additionally we have here j2w folder is there for the for the logs and the troubleshooting here work directory is there for the logs but here so j2w also is there here then we have the sys scs file here here ascs ascs for the above here just scs for the java systems then sys common in the sys we have the exe global and profile directory these three directories are there here right same as like here also we have the three directories are there here right so this is the one thing here you should know right same file system structure here so see here it is bootstrap starting the framework here then once the framework is started it is stopping then immediately it is going to be waiting start icm started waiting to start here then 
starting framework this step may take very longer time then so then it will come to the starting framework then running status it will come right so here we'll do the j start foreground we'll do the all kind of work here j start procedure java starting procedure is above will fraction of minutes only maybe one or two minutes only above will start but not like that java java may take the so it's here it's a one node it will take maybe the 15 minutes but in the real time also 15 to 20 minutes sometimes it's like the 40 minutes also java starting so that is a java starting java may take very longer duration to start the things here right so that is the one thing here so to open the java system here now you see now system is down now you cannot connect to the systems now here right you see 503 service not available here only icm is available that is the reason so icm taken the your request but the server process is not available process your request here so that is the reason so here you are not getting the, the screen just 503 service not available which means server process is down here so normally that sometimes you may open if you suppose if you open the any site or any government sites or suppose if you open the any site sometimes you may get the 503 service not available sometimes you may get it out maybe because of their back end the server process is down or back end system is down the server process is down here if fully down so then you may get the thing like fully down you may get the things like so you cannot connect to the site you cannot connect to the site it's not the fully down icm is available here icm is available just only server process is down here then in this case in this case you will get the it will take the request but it will say like 503 services are not available here 503 services are not available when it will come to the active status here so when the server process come to active running status here then that will come to the active here here to open the java url we need to type the host name then port number java port number five instance number zero zero that is the java port number here http or https host name host name of your server where you install the java five instance number and zero five instance number zero zero here so if the instance number is during the installation time if you give the 40 then 540 00 if you give the 530 then 530 00 that is the instance number you have to give it then Okay. Yeah, I think yes. Now it's up. Okay. It's up green. So now just to go to the browser, just click on the refresh. Now see, you got the screen now. Right? Which means here server node is helping here to open the thing here. In any case, tomorrow, if you are unable to open if you are unable to open any server, if maybe any web page or something, their backend Java server is down. Java process is down, their backend. So that may be the reason your Java system is not running status here. Here, what are the 